In this session of CCNA series, I'll discuss about an important optional spanning tree protocol feature called PortFast. As previously discussed in the STP session, STP enabled ports move from blocking state to forwarding state after transitioning through listening and learning states. Devices such as single switch, workstation, or a server that are connected to those ports can access the network only after transitioning through all those STP states. The transition period usually takes about 30 to 50 seconds and during which no user data is sent over the port. Some user applications such as DHCP need to connect immediately and are affect affected due to this. Spanning tree port fast feature enables a switch to enter the forwarding state immediately by passing the listening and learning states. Port fast is a Cisco proprietary feature and is usually configured on an edge port where end user devices like PCs or servers are connected and that port should not expect any STP BPD use. So when an end user PC boots, the switch port can move to an STP forwarding state immediately and forward traffic as soon as the PC NIC is active. So port fast feature do not disable STP service and the port still participates in STP and if the port receives any STP BPDU, it moves back uh, to normal or regular mode and will participate in the listening and learning states. If the port is to be part of a loop, the port eventually transitions into the blocking state. So we can conclude by saying that port fast speeds up convergence. Let's go ahead and use packet tracer to understand this in more detail. Here I have a switch where I have a PC and a server connected. A PC, this PC is connected to FA0 slash 1 and a server is connected to FA0 slash 2. On FA0 slash 1, I will run normal STP and on FA0 slash 2, I will enable port fast and see the difference how the port reacts. Let's go ahead and hop into the switch. Let me first uh, unshut the interface that is connected to the PC where I don't have port fast enabled. So let me go ahead and unshut the interface and the command to verify the spanning tree status is show spanning tree. Here you can see uh, the port is currently in listening state. After 20 seconds, it goes to learning state. Here you can see now it's in learning state. So from learning state, it has to transition to forwarding state after 20 seconds. Here you can see after 20 seconds, it has uh, transitioned to forwarding state. Now you can see the port is up, it's all green green, but the second port is still down. Let me go ahead and unshut the second interface. Now before we uh, unshut the second interface, let's enable port fast feature. And the command to enable the port fast feature under the interface is spanning tree port fast. So this will enable port fast and display a warning which says it should be enabled on a uh, it should be enabled where a species a single host is connected. If you have a hub concentrator switch or bridge connected to this then uh, you can cause a temporary bridging loops so use it with caution. So let me go ahead and enable the interface and verify the spanning tree st status. Here you can see the port transitions to forwarding state immediately without uh, going into listening and learning state and here you can see it's all green within no time. That's all for this session. I hope this was informative for you. Thank you for watching. Please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you.